Well, as you may have guessed, uh, I didn't catch anything on my last night, last week. Um, pretty quiet to be fair, I didn't hear anything at all. Um, it was quite cold, quite windy, very dull in the morning. But yeah, nothing happened. Over the weekend, I had the pleasure of photographing a 38 and a half pound common from my mate Dave, and we're pretty sure it's unknown. You know, it's a lake that's been there a very long time. I'm sure people have caught it in the past, but he's caught this fish. He's had a really good run on there. He's had the big one at 47, and um, he's just had this 38 pound common that none of the regulars recognise. So um, I've got a little bit of video footage of that for you to see. Very cool fish. What are you saying, Blue? Big carp. Say big carp. Eh? Big carp. Came back to Cleveley last night, got set up just before it got dark, managed to get one rod out uh, and the other two, I waited sort of two or three hours into dark to put those out. The fish were going bonkers last night, boshing absolutely everywhere. I heard loads and loads of shows, they pretty much kept me up all night. But this morning, about an hour ago now, my right hand rod, ripper of a bite, um, I've got quite a big mirror in there, I think it's a 30 pounder, it's a fish I recognise from years and years ago and one I've always wanted to catch, so very pleased with that. We'll get him out and have a little look, and one's just boshed just to the right new spot, so hopefully I might even catch another one. Right, well here he is, 30 pound on the nose, promise I'm not lying, we've weighed him several times and he's bang on 30 pound. What a cool fish. And he's being very badly behaved, so I'm not gonna hang around, I'm gonna get the fish back. I've just, like I say, one's just showed near the spot, so hopefully we'll get another one today. Right, I thought I'd do a quick update. Um, just had my dinner. I had a stew and mash, which is very nice. Oh, seagulls trying to kill the coops. Um, yeah, so not as lot has happened today. Um, I've repositioned my rods about three o'clock. Basically, I've put my left hand rod across to the far margin, where there was a lot of fish showing last night. Um, heard some real big fish there as well. I've got that rod over there. Um, and probably half an hour after I'd put that rod out, a big fish showed about a rod length up from it. So really good sign um, and the, the, these two rods here to my right they are fished out to the right hand side of the swim into the deeper water where there were quite a lot of fish showing last night um, it's where I caught my fish from this morning so I've got two rods out there um, I've baited quite tightly over white pop-ups last night I had quite a spread of bait and I think it might have took a little while longer to get a bite because of that um, so I've tightened it up and I've got two rods out there over bait so Real confident on all three, uh, all three aspects. The swans have been an absolute nightmare. Um, one spawn opened up and bait went everywhere, and that was it. They've been here for hours, pestering me. So um, glad they've gone. I'm going to sit back in the bivvy now, and hopefully, just as it gets dark, they'll start showing because that's what they uh, that's what they did last night. Right, it's uh, getting dark, um, but I thought I'd quickly update you on what's happened. So last night, um, very quiet, uh, heard five or six, and they were right over the top of my two, my sort of rods I had out to the right of the swim. But nothing, you know, the night before they showed on me a lot. It took a long time to get a bite. Um, because last night and this morning didn't get a bite at all. It was a lovely morning, very misty. It's been quite warm and bright today. But yeah, beautiful morning. Uh, mist rolling for quite a while, but it was all in all pretty quiet um, from what I saw. Uh, the Big common, Chester, which is the one I sort of wanted to catch the most. That came out this morning um, from sort of a bit round the corner um, in one of the swims. Yeah, literally next swim round. Um, so yeah, that's a bit of a gutter. Um, but one of those things, you know, it's only my second trip back, so I'll, I'll take that one on the chin. It's been a nice day. It's been quite warm. We've had a good look round. Uh, haven't seen much at all, to be fair. The only thing I've actually seen is the big mirror, Hendrix. He's showed in front of me four times. Um, that was the only fish I saw today. I'm hoping not to catch that one. I caught that uh, nine years ago, or whatever it, whatever it was. Um, so yeah, hopefully that one will stay away and uh, we'll catch a different one instead. I've had fish go over my left hand rod uh, about an hour ago, right over the top of it. Uh, and that's only in about six foot of water, so I'm confident on that one. And I've had a fish show just beyond the two rods I got out to the right and the swim as well. So it's a few about 
um, all the anglers from this end have either gone home or moved down to the other end. So I'm the only one up this end now. That end's really busy. Um, and the rods are out there sweet. So fingers crossed, they've got the old L's pearls out there again. And uh, hopefully they uh, won't let me down. I've packed most of my gear away. Um, it's all in the car. And they're going to pack the rest of it up. Just in case I hear them late tonight, you know, if I do hear fish around the corner where the big one got caught, I will move around there tonight if they're there. So I've seen a few here, but it was quite quiet here last night in comparison to my first night. So I'll, uh, I will definitely be ready to move. I've got to be off early about half seven. So uh, not long left, but definitely going to try and make the most of it. All in all, relatively quiet last night. Um, I did see and hear a few fish, and I had one go over near my left hand rod, and I had three or four go over sort of just beyond the right hand rod. Um, but that was about it. It was much quieter than the first two nights, that's for sure. I did manage to catch one, a common of about 18 pounds. That was on the left hand rod. Um, and since having that fish, I have seen one, um, quite a good fish as well, go over the top of that rod. Uh, and I saw another one not out three times, heading in that direction, um, but not far away from it either. So I'm confident with that rod still. And the other two rods, I've now switched over to zigs. I've got a few hours left. I'm off at about midday-ish. Um, so I've put them on the zigs. They're out in the deep water. Pink pop-ups. I've got them at sort of eight, nine foot. Um, but you know, the water's quite clear. It's definitely fish over in that deep water. Um, I think they're just sat a lot off the bottom a lot of the time. So put those zigs out there for a couple of hours. It's been, uh, it's been very grey this morning. Um, quite eerie at times, you know, fog everywhere. Uh, very grey, very quiet um, on the whole. So, yeah, I'm going to hang it out. It's brightening up a bit now. Sun's in the eyes. Um, but like I said, I've got a few hours left. And I think if I get a bite, it would be on one of the zigs. But we shall see. I'm certainly going to leave with a smile on my face because I think, I think there's only been three fish caught while I've been in it. You know, the two I've had and the big common. Um, you know, I'd love to have caught that big common. I really would have. But um, the fish I've caught, I'm really pleased with. And uh, it's been very busy and quite tricky to get a bite. So, you know, I can leave happy with, with my efforts. And... Uh, I'm sure I'll return soon enough for another go. Oh. I think I've just broken my receiver. It's not very good. Uh, I don't know. Right, we'll have to sort that out. Um, so I'm back down Cleveley. I uh, came back. I actually did Friday night as well. It's Wednesday morning now, but I, did, I came down Friday night. Got here late. Um, Mrs. was out. So yeah, I came down here. So I turned up in the dark. A lot of fish showing down the bottom end of the lake. And that's where I fished. Fished on the bottom overnight and then switched to Sigs in the morning. Stayed till about 12 o'clock. Um, didn't catch anything. You know, one of them saw a lot of fish. They're mainly beyond me, but I did have fish on me as well. Um, yeah, sort of expected to get one, didn't, which has sort of been the story this week as well. It's not been too busy, the lake, but all the anglers have been down the bottom end. So have I, um, and I've just done two nights down there. The first night was very, very foggy, quite warm as well, like 12 degrees, and I had probably the best part of 150 odd shows in front of me. It was absolutely crazy. Um, and of the four lads that were there, I'm pretty sure nothing got caught. So all show, no go at the minute. It's very deep down that end. Um, they just seem to be boshing around and not really getting caught. Been odd fish plucked. Um, but even you know, since I've been on it, I'd say there's only been probably a dozen fish caught um, from the whole syndicate. So it's not fishing great at the minute. I'm sure they're gonna liven up soon. They're very active. They're just not eating a lot, it seems. Um, and last night, uh, I was back down that end again and I fished zigs all night. You know, I just thought I've got to try something different. They're not really getting caught off the bottom. So I tried zigs all night and didn't catch anything last night. So it's one of them. Um, I've had my dog with me, first couple of nights he's ever done. So he's had a, he's had a wonderful time. Um, he's been running through the bushes so much he's damaged his towel, something called limp towel syndrome or something they get. 
and they've uh, been wagging the old tail too much. He's been hours and hours of rummaging through the trees and he's done himself no good. So I've just took him home um, and I've got another few hours. I'm going into work at midday today. I've booked a half day off um, because I did catch a fish yesterday stalking up this end of the lake. So I'm at the opposite end of the lake is where I've been fishing at the night time. And I did catch a fish up here yesterday, probably 18, 20 pound. Um, so hopefully, and the fish will turn back up in that area again. I've got the rod back out before they, it arrived yesterday. They were already there when I put the rod out and it took a long time to get the bite. So I put it out nice and early today. Dogs at home and it was a first frost last night. So it's very bright, bright blue skies. It's supposed to be quite warm, 10 degrees or so, but last night was very cold and we've had our first frost. Certainly the first frost I've fished in. So we'll see. I'm hoping they turn back up. I'd be surprised if the cold will, is, will prevent them, but um, if anything's going to stop them, it will have been the temperatures last night. But I've got a pretty good feeling that the, uh, the one rod I have got out is going to do me one more fish before I go yet. So we'll see. I've been a little bit slack on the old video diary this session, but like I said, I've been running around trying to make something happen. Um, and I have managed to nick one, but hopefully we'll catch one more and uh, spend the rest of the day filming a nice 40 pound comment. That'd be lovely, wouldn't it? <laughs> Right, well nothing happened at the end of my last trip. I hung it out to about midday and um, when I checked the rod, there was, all the bait was gone. The rig was still there, all the bait was gone. Um, there wasn't more hen knocking about, but I've got a pretty good feeling that, um, or a pretty bad feeling that I got cleaned out to work up about. So took that one on the chin, went home. Um, and over the weekend, I went to a place called Blasford Hill. It's a day ticket fishery, not too far from where I live. And I had a big social there with a load of friends from school that I've not fished with for donkeys. So that was really cool. Um, my team won, of course. You know, we had the best team and we, uh, we won, deservedly. So yeah, that, that was really good fun. Um, and I've come back down to Cleveland Mere where I've been fishing the last few weeks today. Um, sorry, yesterday I came in. Uh, it's Tuesday today. So I got here yesterday on the Monday. Got here quite late, a couple of hours before it got dark. And I'm fishing all the way down the bottom end of the lake. Um, very deep area where I was the other week. So I did the night there, heard a few fish, uh, nothing happened this morning. So I've gone for a look round, found some fish in a small bay and I managed to catch one. It's the same place I caught one from the other week and I had a 29 pound, two ounce common. So yeah, that's cool, really pleased with that. Don't think there's been anything else out while I've been here, but the pressure dropped at the weekend while I was on that social um, and it did 7.30s to 39. So. My mate had five of them in a day or something like that. Five thirties in 24 hours, so it kicked off, went a bit mental. Um, pressure's gone back up, it's gone really cold. It was freezing last night, um, but the pressure's gonna drop again tonight. We've got a load of rain coming, so weather's bang on. Um, looks really good. I've caught one, so I'm feeling confident. Um, and the rod is back out. It's back in that little bay where I've been seeing these fish. And it will stay there for probably another hour, hour and a half. And then I'm gonna go down the bottom end and uh, ping my rods back out for the night sit in the bivvy and await the rain, because like I say, it's going to go mental tonight. So I'm going to uh, get them out, get as much gear as I can into the car as possible. And then uh, I think probably spend the night hidden up in the bivvy. But hopefully, still hoping that big common ain't too far away. <laughs> 